we're back. I'm here with John and he's gonna help us record today. We wanna talk about one of the biggest transitions about moving into college, which is living in dorms. We're gonna try and give you a dorm and a hall tour today. The woods are the newest dorms here in Northern. There are six halls in the woods, Birch East and Birch West, Cedar East and Cedar West, Maple East and Maple West. I live in Birch East, so we're gonna check that out first. My laundry's actually just finished up, so we're gonna look at the laundry room and then go look at my room. So follow us. To get into the laundry room, you just use your key fob. So just go like this, and it'll open. Cool. So over here is the kitchen, and every hall has its own kitchen. Anyone who has specific dietary preferences or just isn't really feeling the dining hall that day, you can use this kitchen and make whatever you want. Over here is the laundry room. I didn't really have much to wash. I just had to wash a few things before spring break, which is actually tomorrow. These are all of the washers, and all of the dryers are over there. This is our room. This is my roommate, Shelby. <laughs> um, so we're gonna give you a quick room tour. She's gonna go first, so follow her. So this is my room. I chose to set my room up like this, put my bed right by the window. I was in a shared room prior to this. I just prefer the private room and the woods is nice because you can have either shared, private, whatever you want to do. <laughs> you can decorate your room however you want. I chose Numerous posters, as you can see, and then some Christmas lights just hanging around. All right, well, that's my room. Now Josie's gonna give you a little tour first. Okay, so this is my room. I really enjoy the private room because you can choose whenever you wanna study, I can choose when I wanna go to bed, and you can set it up however you want. If you and your roommate don't necessarily have the same style, you can kind of make it your own, and you can still have your main living space, and we'll show you that in a second. My room, I have obviously my desk right here, and I chose to have my bed by the window also. I really like the natural light that kind of comes in. And I like, especially when it's warmer, having the cold to kind of keep the temperature regulated at night. I have my futon right here. It's really nice having a couch for me personally. I like studying somewhere that's not my bed. So I like to sit on there and do all my homework and study a little bit. You'll see as we kind of pan across the room, I have a lot of command hooks and command strips and those are a great way to kind of maximize your space. I have my coat, my purse, and all of my lights are hung up with those command strips. I like to have the posters in my room too because it keeps it fun and keeps it um, a little less dull than the standard dorm room walls. So I'll show you my closet really quick. So these are the closets that you get. There's a lot of space, surprisingly, and you just have to pick carefully what you bring. I have a little organizer down here too and that keeps all of my shoes. I have my laundry stuff over here and my laundry basket right there. This is where we keep our plates and we have our cereal here. This is my absolute favorite. I love Chef Boyardee. <laughs> um, this is our microwave and it's actually really nice to have a fridge. The freezer is really nice to have as well. A little peek inside the fridge. We ha just have some food. Obviously there's the dining hall so we don't have much. Another perk is that we have really nice granite countertops and we have plenty of space to keep our stuff. So there's three drawers right here and we each get three and then we get a uh, space under the sinks and we each have our own sink. I'll show you the bathroom as well. We have this shelf to keep our towels and whatever anyone needs. Everyone has their own shelf. A lot of people keep their fridge and such in the bathroom. They put their microwaves on top of their fridge, ski stuff. We decided to put a curtain right here so people can have a little bit more privacy when they shower. These hooks uh, come pre-installed, so I bought a shower caddy and our, one of our sweet mates has a shower caddy as well, but I just hang all my bathroom stuff right here. This is the shower, also very nice, uh, comes tiled and you can keep the shampoo and stuff in here. We have a separate room for the bathroom. The toilet's right there. You get free toilet paper. And if someone is showering, you can also go in the bathroom and shut the door. So that is it for our room. We're gonna go meet our RA Val in the study room, and then we'll see some other rooms that aren't private rooms. So Val is my RA here on the first floor. So my name's Val Gage. Um, I'm an RA on Virtue's first floor. Um, my major is Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences, and I'm minoring in Business Administration. How do you like being an RA? I actually love being an RA. Um, my house is really cool and independent, and it's a good gig. I really enjoy it. I've heard of HallGov before, obviously, but yeah. what, what is it and what do they do? So HallGov is just a way for like all of the hall to get together. Um, so it's any floor, any resident kind of thing in Birch Hall to get together. Okay. So it's like a big HouseGov, because HouseGov is like the little version of that with just in your house. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm with my friend Mia, and she is the next room we are going to see. She has a shared room. Before we do that, we are gonna get some food and we are at the NLD. So I thought you guys should see a little bit of the NLD. So we'll show you some shots of that. 
guys, I'm Mia. I live in the second floor of Maple West. I live on the Misty Mountain floor, which is like our house. I'm gonna show you guys my room, so let's go on in. <laughs> the shared rooms are very similar to the private rooms that you already saw. Um, the sinks are in the same spot. They kind of have their microwave fridge set up the same, but we're gonna go through what the actual room part looks like. All right, so this is my roommate side. Um, she's not here right now, but it's really nice. We have like our TV over here so we can like both watch. Um, and then we have like a chair here that like everyone sits in and we can look them over. And then like just her general like area. And then over here is my area. We're all packing up for spring break right now. So it's not in like beautiful shape. Um, but I really like having the shared. My roommate and I like got super close because we're like so close to each other and like proximity. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend. What is one tip you have for people to stay organized? Um, something my roommate and I did like three weeks into the school year is we got like curtains for our closet because then it kind of like hides some like disorganization and clutter. It just like brings the whole room together. Our last stop today is going to be our friend Tony in the old dorms. Right now we are here and those are the woods and those are the old dorms and that is Mayland and that's where my friend Tony lives. That is our workout facility and those are some of the other ones. So I'll see you soon. This is Tony. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Tony Mack. Uh, I'm a freshman and I'm majoring in economics. And he is going to take us through his room. So we will start the tour. So this is the room. Bathroom's over there. Uh, closet's over there. The walls are really thick. So if you're loud, this is probably <laughs> a good idea for you. So this is the closet. Um, you split it with your roommate. So usually like this little thing kind of marks his half and that marks my half. And then you have a little storage space below. So this is the bathroom, uh, toilet's over there, uh, two sinks, one for your suite mates and then one for your roommate and then shower's right there and then there's a little storage behind the mirror. What are some tips you have for people to stay organized? Um, lofting your bed always helps, it gives you just a little more space. Declutter when you can, take stuff home that you don't use. What do you like about living in the old dorms versus new dorms? The old dorms it's really nice that the walls are so thick so you probably won't get as many noise complaints or anything like that. It just feels cozier than the woods I think. That was the tour! Like we said in the beginning, coming into college no matter what is a very big transition, but there's a lot of things that you can do to make your college dorm feel like home. And I can safely say that I call this place home. So thanks for watching Wildcats, and I'll see you next time!